Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. Just give me that. Boom, boom, boom. Just give me that. Boom, boom. Just give me that. Give me that. Boom, boom, boom. Just give me that. I don't care what you got. Just Benji, thank you so much for taking the time, man. I really appreciate it, bro. You know, bro, when you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. Simple. That's like what? Hey, you're still going hot, man. Still going Woo. hot. Love it. Keep, the, uh, keep hope alive, brother. Keep hope alive. <laughs> Well, look, I want to start this off and we're going to talk new music, but I, I got to share my Skindred story. And there are thousands and thousands and thousands of fans that I'm sure have a very similar experience as this. Uh, but this is my Skindred fan origin story. Anyways, you guys played a place called The Annex in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, I believe it was in support of your second album, Roots Rock Riot. Okay, uh, okay, hit me. Circa 2007, 2008. Anyway, I had a friend go, you got to see this band. Come out with me. We're going to go see them. This place, literally, your asses and elbows, you're jammed in there. And you guys blew the roof off the place. I was an instant fan, a forever fan. It was amazing. And uh, it's still to this day, one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. And I bring this up because a skindred, you guys have always hung your hat. I think on the live shows, not that you don't make awesome albums you do, but I think it's fair to say, or safe to say that the essence of skindred has always been in that live moment at that live show. You know, I'll be honest with you. I like making records, but I love playing shows more. It's as yeah. simple as that. You know, now and again, you get a song that represents the band that you record. But the live show for Skin Dread is what it's all about. Taking yeah. that heavy metal and that reggae shit and just merging the two of them. I just like watching people go, what the f*** is this? <laughs> you know, that's that. I like that. I always have. I, you know, I mean, being the weird kids in the class. Listen, up against Marilyn Manson, Skin Dread's f- yeah, weird, man. Right. We're the strange kids. But you know what? One thing we've done, we've been consistently strange. You know, I mean, like we haven't tried nothing left or right. This is what we've done. You know, this is yeah. what we've done. And like I said, I we've played with like Disturbed. And on the other hand, we've played with bands which are alternative as hell, like Gorgo Badello. And we've right. gone down just as well. I think, you know, I always say this, you know, you might buy, you might get the Skin Red album or you might listen to it on the radio, but you got to see Skin Red live. And you've experienced that. And a lot yeah. of people who experience Skin Red live go, I'm a fan for life, you know? And that's what it was. And I just say, you're right. If you don't leave a Skin Red show a little disheveled, I don't know if you... Yeah, uh, I mean, you got <laughs> I always say this to people. Music is not supposed to make you go, yeah, this is cool. It's supposed right. to rip your head off and right. put it up back on the wrong way, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, you're, that's you're... what it's always supposed to do for me anyway, you know? A walk and funny for a little while, but it's a good walk and funny. Uh, Amen, well, brother. Amen. That brings us here. Uh, and you guys have con- uh, continued to do that. Here we are 25 years later of Skindred, which is pretty crazy. Silver wedding anniversary, I <laughs> mean. Oh. The same lineup too, bro. The same lineup. You really don't get that. That's pretty unheard of in this day and age. 20, Mm -hmm. 25 years later, still getting kindred, uh, uh, kindred, still blowing people's minds. And with this new album, Smile, which was released on August 4th, it's out now. Obviously, you guys are no, uh, you're not rookies anymore. You're seasoned veterans. You've pretty much heard it all. You've seen it all. You've damn near played everything. Is there anything that maybe stood out in making Smile this album compared to previous works that- that do you know what? This is what I've been I've been telling people this recently that you know the first album you write you've got all your life to write it. Yeah. Then after that you get your deal, it's released, it does well. Then you got six months to write the next one. One thing I would say now the pandemic was not cool in any shape or form. We all right. have to stay home and you know do a lot of different stuff. But I would say the reason why this album stands out so much is having the time to actually write instead of having a label going we need the record we need the single we need the record i really think having the time at home and just having you know doing record sending stuff back and forth remotely was very different from we normally do so i think one thing about this new record is having the time to write it and to work on the stuff as we go you know i think that was a blessing as much as it was a curse i I love traveling and i do enjoy playing live but i think them three years made me have a little more thankfulness for for the music business make me have a little more gratitude and you know sort of kick kick my ass and change my attitude 
Because, you know, I'm like, normally I'm like, I'm not sitting on that plane next to them, you know. But, you know, now it makes me go, I'll sit I'll, I'll sit in the trailer. I don't give a shit, you know. Right, and I right. think it, it really made me have time to think and go, you know what, I got something really good here. And I think, like I said already, having having that time to sit in your house and stay in your house and be locked down in your house <laughs> made, me, made me go, right, I'm going to do something great. And I, I knew when we were writing it, having that, having that time at home to write and not have your label breathing down your neck and your management. I think that that was the blessing as much as it was a curse. And let's talk about kind of that blessing curse thing, because I've talked to a lot of artists who, who are very similar in that sense, because it, you went from this run and gun, boom, 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 to a record, to a record, to a record. And now you had time to sit. The blessing side is having that time, but the curse side, having that time, did you have to, did you break stuff down more? Were you more critical on what you were putting together? Uh, let's change things up. Let's retry yeah, this. I think. I, 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 well, you're right. I, th I think a lot of the rewriting was fun. You know what I mean? Having the time like to actually go, okay, what, what am I going to do with this lyric here? So definitely like, and then I, I trust my band members, even though I do feel strongly about some of the stuff that I write. If I send them and they go, you know, could we push it in a slightly different direction? Whereas before I'd be like, no, that's it. It's done. Leave me alone. <laughs> now I, that, having that patience and having that time at home, I go, okay, we're going to try this. We're going to, we're going to work on this. And, and I definitely do think it, it, it was a time of where if creative beings could really get creative. Right. A little more introspective that we'll see on smile. And, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's so cool now, all these years later, still being able to break that sound down. And and that kind of brings me into the the next part of Skindred and talking about that and really getting intro introspective on the tracks, really breaking these down, maybe reworking things. Because when you look at the plethora of musical influences that you and the band have, you and the guys, yeah. hearing those influences throughout the years, the evolution of the sound of Skindred, where does Smile fall in that picture and, and and that sound that we've ever seen growing with Skindred. Well, you know, it's funny because we haven't done we haven't done nothing different. You know, I think with Skindred, the world's come around to us mm -hmm. instead of us going around to the world. I think with when we first started, there was no such thing as Spotify. There was no such thing of all these things. And now there's no kids who just listen to a certain type of music. Mm -hmm. People's minds due to the Spotify and whatnot, even though they're ripping us all off mm -hmm. due to that. People, people's minds are much more open. And I think that it's not that we've changed in any shape or form. We're still doing the dance hall, punk rock, heavy metal stuff we were doing in 99. Yeah. But I think people are more open-minded now with this TikTok stuff going on and stuff. So I think it's, it's opened a lot of doors. As much as the internet has been has been good to people, it's, I think it's let, let people you know, dig a lot of stuff. And I don't think people trip as much. If you're into metal, you don't trip as much if someone's into drum and bass. It's just music, you know? And I think that's really helped along the path. So, so you, I, I like that because, yeah, for a long time, well, if you're a metalhead, you can only listen to this. Oh, I'm metal. I'm oh, metal. <laughs> I'm metal, bro. I don't listen to that pussy stuff. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? And, and I just think that's, I think people have chilled the fuck out about that stuff. Yeah. I think they, you know what? Music is music. And, you know, you know, when we first, like I said, you know, we're playing, we're playing with Metallica. We're playing with, like, you know, all these amazing heavy metal bands. Where does before people go, I'm, and we're having the same crowds pull up to watch Metallica's watching Skin Drive with their horns in the air and all that stuff. So I think that it's a beautiful thing that the, the boundaries of music is changing. And I love that because obviously being a band that mixes these genres, but you got to, when we say mixes, it's nothing new. Queen did the same shit with folk right. music and God, you know, this has been going on for a long, Elvis Presley did it for God's yeah. sake. It's not like, oh my God, they're doing something so different. No, <laughs> this has been going on forever, you know? Yeah, so I just yeah. think, but I think people's mind is opening up now. They get it, you know. They're digging it for what it is. Because I was looking at it, when I was when I was a kid listening to like the Sex Pistols, and they were like from Kent, uh, Old Kent Road in London, and then you got these guys in Jamaica from Trenchtown. And the two of these people on different sides of the world, they're both singing freedom and and togetherness and unity, and we can break down the man. It's the same shit in a different accent. Yeah, you know, I love, I love the it. youth, the youth, the youth cry all over the place has been the same. Let us go. We want to be free. And that's what the punk rock system was saying. That's what the wrestlers were saying. You know? uh, I, I love your take on that. And I've always loved how Skindred has blend, blended so many unique musical styles together to make this beautiful, harmonious, rip your face off sound that we see once again on the eighth studio album smile again that's out now and uh, you guys are staying busy out and about i do ask this for everyone when they have a new album and and some people say oh i have a favorite track other people say i can't pick do you have a favorite track on the album is there one that really speaks you know to you? what i tell you the truth it changes from day to day hmm. you know i mean what what you find with a band is the, the the songs you make videos to they're your favorites you know 
because you've made they're the only and then uh, you listen back and there's a song you didn't do a video to and you're like oh yeah that's my favorite you know so yeah. I, I think you know I love all my children exactly the same you know they're all they're all my kids you know and I, and I can't if I said disappointed love then you know State of the Union's gonna be pissed off so I you know I just gotta <laughs> keep it level play a level field you know but you know I think for me what's more important is pl we've played four songs from the new album in our live set mm -hmm. and it's funny because sometimes when you play a new song you go oh this is a new song oh my god here we go we gotta pay no with this i feel like having the time to write these songs i actually feel like when we're playing a new songs like set phases or give me that boom mm -hmm. it's just it feels as good as all the old stuff you know and they just sit together perfectly in the set you know listen rate share subscribe Discover new music now at WJJO.com, in the JJO app, or wherever you get your podcasts. Rock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. Nutty one JJO. I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. I don't care what you got, just give me that So, if someone is just finding it now, uh, that next generation of Skindred fan, uh, other than, of course, hearing Smile, like, say, they pick up Smile, and they're like, "This, I love this band, I want to explore their catalog, what would Benji Webb of Skindred tell them to listen to first to get on that Skindred roll? Nobody from the first album is a choice song that blew up in the States a long time ago. A lot of people come up to me with walking sticks and go, I remember you. You're the nobody guy, right? You know what I'm saying? I, I think nobody is the perfect blend of raga metal. Raga metal. I know it sounds weird and it's pretty strange because you got that heaviness, heaviness, heavy, mm -hmm. and you got that that sort of that dancey Jamaican stuff going on. And I think nobody would be, you know, I mean, after it all is said and done and the world is gone, and they say, What song would you put in the time council? I'd say nobody gets out of life. Because it's so true. Yeah. <laughs> and it's <laughs> it's right, the most right. truest statement I've ever written. And I think that that song, the way it is and the way it was, it, it, and, the, and what I love about Nobody is that it's multi multicultural and, right. and it's mixed heritage. It, it just brings people together. You know, and I think, um, I'll be honest with you, as a, as, a, as a singer in a rock band, I just don't want to get paid and go home. I want to leave something for people, you know, for generation to generation. And, you know, just bring a unity, you know what I mean? Take the black and the white and the whatever else, section, whatever it is, just bring them together under the umbrella of Skin Dread and rock together. Because if my music is just about me, 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 I want to get a job with my brother Clifford. This is bullshit. <laughs> you know, I'm joining his painting firm. Give it a break, Cliff. There you go. Come on, Cliff. We'll get it done. <laughs> yeah. But I just love the fact that I'm making music which is mixes heritages. Heritages. Right. Is. Heritages. Yeah. Heritages. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think I think that's what it's about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially in a day and age where people are loving segregation and pushing people apart. No, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. We're bringing them together. It doesn't matter who you are. All I'm saying is we we all need to be, and that's nice. Right. And that's and I know it might sound it might sound hippie and strange, but it doesn't matter why, whether you're black and, and you listen to hip hop or whether you you, you, you or whatever you listen to or you're heavy and you're into, you're just into rock music and, and, and you're Caucasian, nice. That's all we gotta be, because you know it's easy to be nice. And people get brave on the internet. Yeah, man, you're better. Oh, uh, yeah. Save his face, bitch. Save his face. There he is. No, 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 no. I no, just keep it. I'll just keep it for the computer. Right, right. You know, I just think people got to be nice, man. And if, if it's like some people I see, like they if they don't like a band and they go to town on this band, man, there ain't no need. Right. You know, and that's my heartbeat. You know, I'm about, you know, listen, I see a, a lot of bands and they suck balls. They're not good at all. But you know what? Right. I'm not going to tell you. And I get a lot of demonstration tapes. I call them, I like to, instead of demos, I like to say demonstration tapes. I like right? that, yes. Right? I, like, I get a lot of demonstration tapes. And you know what? Even if it's the drum sound, you've got to find something nice to tell these people. Yep. Why not? These kids have worked hard in their garage on this stuff. And maybe you don't like the vocals. But, you know, I like the way how the guy plays the hi-hat. Say something yep. nice. Come on. <laughs> As mom always said, it's easier to be nice than mean. So there Hey, bro, nice. listen, and I always say this. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. There you go. You know? I love it. Life lessons from Benji Webb of Skindred. Oh, I, think bro, I am starting yet. You, hey, listen, and don't forget the kids book. That's right. Oh, look at you. Got you. Is that your own kids book? <laughs> yeah, bro, in the pandemic, bro, I wrote a kids book called Calling the Kitten. 
You the wrote wonderful adventures of Colin the kitten. Now I have a two-year-old daughter. I'm gonna need to get a copy of Bro, that. No, you need listen. Really you cool. gotta go online. Type this online. It's a thing called Big Cartel. Get my book. I won't get the money. The money goes straight to my grandchildren's great grandchildren fund. I it's amazing. It. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna start off like young. I, Life lessons from Benji Webb. I hear you, brother. Yeah, man. But listen, I love- all I know is this. I want to get to America t- again and play some shows. I really do. That's something I'd love to do. Well, we want you to do that, and uh, we cannot wait for uh, Skindred to be back in the States and doing what they do, what they've done all over the world, and continue to do. Again, the uh, eighth studio album, Smile, is out yeah, now. And you know what? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. you can go to eric.com forward slash skindred and pre-order the album now or even order the album now eric as in bad ear perfect perfect uh get it and for uh all of you old skindred fans or new skindred fans you're gonna love it it's gonna blow you away and then hopefully we'll see you soon before we go benji now that the important stuff is out of the way uh right. we're getting a little fun uh first we're gonna do some welsh slang you are obviously uh wales born uh, uh film this film this this needs to be filmed i got my daughter to film this shit <laughs> I, I, I like this kind of stuff no, this, is, this is the stuff i enjoy all, all right. right so we're gonna see uh if you can teach us some uh welsh slang first someone is buzzing if they're buzzing what is that in welsh slang look there's two kinds of buzzing you can be yep. buzzing when you haven't washed my god he's buzzing Right, that's there it. You that, there right. you go. There you go. I got it right. Yeah, you Buzzing, got it. Right. My yeah. God, yeah. When in his house, he was. And another one for it is is bumping. If he's bumping, not bumping, bumping. That's another bumping. one. If you stink, so, yeah. If he's buzzing or bumping, get out yeah. of there. Get yeah, you gotta go. You know, sometimes we play venues all over the world, and the smaller the venue, the weirder it is. You know, the Newport helicopter thing that we do. Uh huh. Okay, so if you get in a small club and everyone's been to work all day, we call it the Newport Smellicopter. <laughs> Because it's bumping, bruh, and it's yeah, buzzing. I love there it. you go. I love there you go. Chopsy. Chopsy, when someone's talking too much, a bit like me. I was yeah. always called Benji the Chopsy one. I get that, definitely. What about uh, hanging or hanging, how you would say it? Hanging. Oh, I mean, like, say you had a drink and your mother made you a cup of tea and it's hanging. Oh, this cup of tea is fucking hanging, man. That means it's not good. It's not. It doesn't taste very nice. Doesn't taste very nice. Sorry, mom. Hanging. I need a better one. All yeah. right. Now, this one, it, it, this seems too silly to be real, but uh, okay. again, hit me, hit me. it's the poppy ping. Mate, you're going to teach me something now. I don't know what that is. The poppy okay. ping. So apparently this is an old colloquialism from Wales, and it's uh, used for a microwave ah. oven. Oh, oh The poppy was... ping. The... No. No, I don't. Uh, no, I don't know that one. It, it's, it's a slang term for the microwave oven. Like, hey, throw a biscuit in the poppy ping. I don't know. No, me, mate. I've yet to go ping, but never poppy. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> oh, well, listen, I got to get deeper into Wales. Maybe because I'm on That's else right. Stage. That's no, right. Nothing new. But that's an ping. old serve, old to early yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, just a couple more. Here we go. Now, this is my rapid fire. Pick one or the other. There's no wrong answers. A creme pog or a Glamorgan sausage? Glamorgan, Glamorgan sausage. Yeah? Never have a creme pog. No, what was a club organ? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, everybody Wang Chung or everybody was Kung Fu fighting. I go for Kung Fu fighting. Great song. It was a B side originally. That was, you know, it was. A it B-side. was. <laughs> uh, would you rather have soaked jeans or damp socks? Damp socks, definitely. <laughs> I can deal, bro. I can de- listen. You know, you go in the night, some ice have fell out the fridge. You walk in, you can live with that. Wet jeans, soaking jeans, nah, nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> A lot of chafing with those soaked jeans. That's oh, right. yeah. That's so because you know, you don't want some wet socks, damp socks, damp socks all day. Uh, would you rather see Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? Bigfoot. There's no such thing as a Loch Ness Monster. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I, so, so now, okay. I didn't know if I was going to maybe. Scream. No, no, no. There's no, there's no such thing. Of course, there's Bigfoot. Of course. <laughs> all right. Last one. Would you rather fight a man with bear arms or a bear with man arms? Wow, I think either way they'd be kicking ass, wouldn't they? <laughs> you um, have yeah. to work I, I it up with. Because I, I've seen that film where the bear attacks the guy, and it's not very. It's not, I think I go for the man with bear arms. Man with bear arms. I mean, you're yeah. you're pretty energetic. You're still, you know, fit for fifty six. So you're doing all right. Yeah, fifty six, bro. I'm still. I, I still got it, Sonny boy. Yeah. <laughs> put him up. Put him. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Get over here. I'll take you up, yeah. see? I'll take you like- here. I like yeah. your odds. I like your odds. I got the power. I got the power, bro. Yeah. Yeah. A bear, a man with bare arms. Definitely. 
I, my money's on you. Uh, uh, Benji, thank you for humoring me. More importantly, nope. thank you for taking the time to talk new Skindred. Smile. It's out Thank now. you so much. Thank you for Skindred. The world says... Yeah, listen, bro, we, like I said already, I was just going to say thank you for being interested in the band. All your listeners, I want to say, keep supporting live music as well as radio because that's where music's got to go. Togetherness, we got it. I don't care what you got, just give me that. Listen, rate, share, subscribe. Discover new music now at WJJO.com, in the JJO app, or wherever you get your podcasts. Rock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. 94.1 JJO.